Now we come to to a very important thing that is responsible for many design problems in in electrical engineering that is called an eddy current. Till now we have been seeing a coil, right? So maybe maybe a coil like that. Okay. Or we have seen say a thing like this. And obviously there was some 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 magnetic field that was there and and we saw that there were there were induced currents depending on whatever was happening say say in some case it was happening like this there was some induced current okay due to some something that you did maybe if you if you kind of uh, kind of try to try to take it out take it pull it out then what will happen there'll be a current in 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 this direction after it has started leaving the the boundary of magnetic field and here if suppose you were you were you were trying to I don't know. Hmm. Okay, it's an it's the cross, so it's going down, right? So I'd like to push some push some field into it, and and it'll be it'll be something like this if you were trying to pull it away. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Now what happens if instead of a coil i have a plate you understand instead of a coil i now have a plate so so i have something like this which is which is a, a say a lamina this is a lamina what is a lamina something that has an area but its thickness is negligible compared to the to the to the dimensions other dimensions now what happens if i insert this into this magnetic field okay this is a plate it has no defined defined path for the current to flow correct now what happens the the the, the material starts behaving as if it is made up of so many circular loops of increasing increasing dia. So if I try to push it in into into this field, say say I have a field which is like this. Okay, so I have a field like that. Like that and if I try to push it in what will happen what should happen actually it has got some some uh, flux will be linked with this whole area and what happens it will try to oppose that so there will be a counterclockwise current that will start flowing in this okay so and that counterclockwise current does not take a specific path in the sense that that there is no 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 constraint on its movement so it starts flowing in the whole area okay so if maybe this has advanced to this point what will start happening is is this will have this will have a this will have a 
current that starts going like that you know a current like that counter clock correct it will be counter clock why because you are trying to to push a field in the downward direction it does not want that it wants the flux to be zero so it has to oppose it by a magnetic field which is coming out and that is possible with a counter clockwise current so what happens this is the kind of flow that starts happening in the lamina fine and obviously when you if you are if you are sliding it in and you are coming from here and okay so suddenly you will find find a jerk suddenly you will find a find find someone has pushed you it is due to this eddy current that has started coming in it was happening here also it was happening here also right that force comes in so 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 this movement say say if it was kind of hung by a thread okay and it was coming in then it will be dampened it will be dampened and if it leaves it then again it will regain its own velocity right so so this lamina moving inside a magnetic field will have everything will have induced current as it had happened here it will experience a force at it had as it had happened there and and but this current that is that flows in a in an area that is known as an eddy current okay that is called an eddy current so what's an eddy current eddy current is the induced current that flows in a surface area it is the induced current that flows in a in an in a in a in an area in a surface area as a result of flux changes flux variations correct as a result of flux variations okay so it is no no different from what we have already studied it is still an induced current the only thing is that it is happening in a in an area okay now we'll we'll go ahead and we'll see there are many machines which face a cross sectional area like that and the flux this very this very thing keeps on fluctuating it happens in a transformer for example now what happens due to due to due to a a, a full full free field that it has there is a large amount of eddy current that is produced and this has got this has got the capacity of heating this plate it will actually heat this plate okay because it is current it will heat this plate and and what what will happen i'll i'll be facing a lot of energy losses so now i do not if i want this current to be to be small for the same fluctuation what do i do what do i do see if i increase its path length path length of the current that means currently it is it's taking a a small circular path right if i increase the path length 
then what happens the current will will be will be pretty less than what it is here because with the length your resistance goes up is it not if it traverses a bigger length then the resistance that it sees in that length is more why because r is equal to rho l upon a so if you increase the l the resistance of the path goes up and the current goes down but the heat energy dissipated is also i square r what will go up then why if resistance goes up then i goes down no why i square r so if i make the current half if i if i double the length then the current becomes half then my dissipation becomes 1/4 l is going up l is going up so r is going up right r is going up but oh so so that way see v remains the same so v square by r is it not you increase the resistance across the same induced emf then what happens it's 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 dissipation falls okay so 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 it is a surface phenomena but but has its origin in the law of electromagnetic induction of faraday okay the heat loss due to this current the heat loss due to this current is called ad current loss now before i go ahead why why ad what's an ad ad was no scientist ad is an english word okay so so you know when when water flows there are small circular things that that it forms right whirlpool. these are called eddies no not whirlpools whirlpools are different okay it, it has a small circulating this kind of thing when it flows okay it whirls sort of and and but they are very small right whirlpool is quite big so these are called eddies eddies in the river or eddies and and since its nature is the same circular nature that's why this is also called an eddy current okay now to reduce this loss we increase the length traversed by traversed by the eddy current okay this reduces the eddy current and hence the loss this becomes very important in in the following electrical equipments
number one is transformer motors generators there is a lot of lot of flux fluctuations occurring in them and we have to limit this loss so what we do to increase to increase the length what we do we if i if i cut this lamina like this Okay, if I if I cut it like that, what happens? The same current which was earlier flowing like that has to take up this hole to complete a circuit it's not that this is the only current that will be there there will be small whirlpools ADEs again and what will happen due to that due to that this will be a very small in this area the the variation will be very small so it, it will have a very small very small current that will circulate in this okay so these currents are there, but the major currents which were causing me the losses, they start taking a larger path, okay? And the, the thing, the loss gets considerably reduced. So if you have, have a core, which is like, like this, okay? If we have a core which is something like this then what we do we do not keep it a single single solid iron piece rather what we do is is to is to break it like this so that these 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 thin ones, they have eddies on their own and a thing that was taking this length earlier, that, that has to perforce take, see, at least double of that. Okay, it goes and then it comes back. It goes and then it comes back. So in each of these thin lamina, it is something like that. Then again, something like that. So you see the path length becomes becomes more, more. and and eddy current losses go down so you'll see and it is quite amazing to see that if you open up even even a small equipment say a charger and you take out its transformer then you'll see that that transformer which has a has a core like that You will see it has a core like this, hmm? over which the wires are wound. And this is not a single metal piece. What happens? They have very thin laminas like this. And they are pasted one over the other. Okay. So, you, so, so if you split it, okay, if you split it, it'll, it'll have so many such thin lamina, thin lamina, and, and they are varnished to make them insulated, and then they are pasted one over the other. That's why it's called lamination. Huh, that is, that is, lamination is that. Lamination is because, yeah, you, you. Oh, it has come from lamina. You put two thin surfaces, right? So, so, so this.